Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. What happens when we have four digits or more? So for instance, if we have 80005 or 80,005, take away 67,899. It could take us a bit of time to work out what the bottom number should be rounded to. So what we can do instead is we can use the one up one down method. And we only use this method when the bottom digits are bigger than the top digits. So looking at this example, 80005, take away 678. Eight, nine, nine. So what we do here we, we start on the right hand side again. Now since 5 is less than 9 and since 5 cannot subtract 9 unless we go into negative numbers what we do is we put a 1 in front of the 5 to make 15. This is the 1 up and we look at the next digit long in the bottom row and put a 1 in front of that. This is the 1 down. Now with this 1 we add it to the actual digit so the 1 plus the 9 becomes 10. So if we go back now we have 15 take away 9 which gives us 6 and we put that in the answer line. Now moving on to the next column we have 0 take away 10. Now since 0 cannot take away 10 we put 1 up so 1 next to the 0 this makes 10 and 1 down 1 next to the 8 and this makes 9. So now 10 take away 10 is just 0 so we put that in the answer line. Moving on to the next column we have 0 take away 9. Since 0 cannot take away 9 we do 1 up so 1 with the 0 that makes 10 and 1 down in the next column. This makes 8 so 1 plus 7 is 8. Now 10 take away 9 is just 1 so put that 1 in the answer line and now we can look at 0 take away 8. Now since 0 cannot take away 8 do 1 up and 1 down so 1 plus 6 equals 7 so now 10 take away 8 equals 2 and finally we can see that 8 take away 7 equals 1 so the answer is 12106. Let's take a look at another example. Let's consider 9, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, take away 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so starting from the right hand side, since 4 cannot take away 9, we put 1 up, 1 with the 4, that makes 14, and 1 down with the digit in the next column, adding that 1 with the 8, that makes 9. So going back, 14 take away 9 equals 5, put that in the answer line. Now, since 2 cannot subtract 9, we do 1. One up and one down. That one plus the seven makes eight, so we can change that. Now twelve take away nine gives us three. We we'll put that in the answer line. Then we look at three take away eight. Now since this cannot be done without going into negative numbers, we put one up, one down. The one down, the one with the eight in the one down makes nine. So now we have thirteen take away eight. That gives us five. Moving on to the next column, we have two take away nine, which cannot be done. So we do one up one down. So now we have 12 at the top now. So 12 take away 9 gives us 3. Moving on to the next column. We have 1 take away 8 which cannot be done. So we do 1 up, 1 down. Now the top becomes 11 take away 8 and that gives us 3. Finally we have the 9 take away the 7 since the 1 plus the 6 became 7. So 9 take away 7 is 2. So the answer is 233,535. So notice how in the original question we deliberately chose the bottom numbers to be greater than the digits in the top number to illustrate this example of the one up one down method as long as you consciously remember that when we put the one down with the bottom numbers that we have to add them to those digits point to note the one up one down method can be used on any number of digits from two upwards just as long as we remember to fill in any blank spaces with zeros if you found this tutorial helpful then do leave a like comment share with anyone who you feel this may benefit and do subscribe and click the bell for all the latest tips tricks revision and exam techniques as well as the latest releases that will be coming soon thanks for watching and i'll see you next time